and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to do something super fun. Um, it's taken me months to gather all the things that I want to create the besoms or aka the witch's brooms. And I know I told you, like if you've been following me, I know I talked to you about this, I think way back in October. So I finally found something perfect for me to create this. And at the same time, I share all this with you so you could have fun and create your own. Okay, so I don't know if a lot of you know about Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love Hobby Lobby because when you go in there with like an idea of something you want and then they have so many different things that you could play with. Um, truth is, I didn't know how I was going to create these because... I just had like so many different things that I wanted to do for these beautiful brooms. Uh, especially that this year, there's so much, so much change going on. And I feel like, like a lot of us feel like the energy that Spirit has shown me is a lot of you feel unsafe, like a lot of unsafety. I found these at Hobby Lobby. So the besom, you know, it's great for like to cleanse, to clear, to bring prosperity and protection. Number one is protection. So I feel like a lot of you that have felt like a lack in, in um, protection or you feel unsafe, this is great. So I'm trying to see, do I want it this way or this way? So I'm thinking this way is gonna look cuter. So I found all of these in Hobby Lobby. And like I said, uh, everything that I show with you guys, I always give one away and I put these in my shop. Okay, so it does perfectly fit in there. Look at this. Already, look how adorable. So we're gonna be um, charging, uh, decorating and charging our besoms. So let's get started. So I love, of course, the energy of rainbow because this aligns with your chakras. So, of course, we're going to be adding some rainbow, some gold. I'm going to be spraying with, you can get this in Octane. That's the name of the shop. Let's see if you can see it. I'm sure you could order them online. And these I create myself. These are in my shop. Sun and moon energy, crystals, oils. So, what you want to do is when you create this, these... I've seen them any, any, everywhere. They're very inexpensive. If you want to make your own, wow, kudos to you. That is amazing. Um, because a lot of people just buy the stuff and make their own. I found that these are really inexpensive. They smell like cinnamon. I put them to charge at the sun and moon. So I love it. Just to let you know, uh, the background, that's Relax Cafe. I love the jazz music. A lot of serenity. And then I... I'm also going to be opening, oh, this is not it. This is for the next one. I'm going to be making with you more ribbons. I want to add crystals to my vessel. Like I said, a lot of energy in them. So I think this is my selenite. Okay, definitely not what I'm looking for. They didn't have a lot of those anymore where I purchased them. And all the ones in my shop, I have sold. Let's see what I have here. I'm always buying a lot of crystals. Okay, no. These are Lapidia lights. These are great for anxiety. I'm creating anxiety kits. So that's for that. This is my daughter's. Definitely not it. Now, you can use a hot glue gun. I prefer to use the um, E600 and for the smaller stuff, just regular clear non-toxic glue. All right, so let's play with this guy. So I already made kind of like a hole in it. So what I want to do, because I don't want my broom to fall apart is that I will use the E600 glue to make sure it stays in place. So 
I'll just stick that guy right in there because I already made the little hole for it and make sure it's nice and tight. It just looks so pretty already. All right. I think it has its own little tassel. I think this would be facing the right way. Um, yeah, this is the front, this is the back. It has the little, so you could already tie it up. I, I use these and I put them on my door because that is the entryway of my house and I want to keep it as positive as possible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some crystals. I have some sunstones. It's just like a rose. It's almost like a clear quartz. I don't I don't get the energy that it's rose. It's just the glue's just like pouring everywhere. So you get it to have fun with it, you know, kind of go with the flow, you know, add all these little trinkets, things that kind of, you know, mean stuff to you, catch your attention. I love playing with uh, clear quartz, sunstone, because I use a lot of sun and moon energy. Not to mention that they're so pretty. These, if you're asking, because I know you'll ask, these will be available in my shop. Once again, I only make a few. So I will try to link it below as soon as they're ready. I used to do pre-order stuff and kind of make them as I go. But um, some of you guys don't have patience. <laughs> and then the mail is really slow. So I don't, I don't like the, the complaining. So I will have them ready and put these at the shop. So, so I use a lot of Archangel Michael energy. And I love Archangel Michael connects with Cobalt Blue energy. And if you look for his stone, Lapis Lazuli comes out. So I, of course, am going to be using Lapis Lazuli. That glue does have like a funny little smell. It's just like an array of colors and energies because the sunstone uh, brings luck and balance. And Lapis is also a protector, but it's also balancer, healer, connection with the archangels. So you can start to see all of the stones kind of coming together. I turned the fan on because it's going to take a little while for it to dry. So much energy already. Okay, so you can see I've added crystals all along the beautiful stick. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's just coming together so, so pretty. And uh, this glue takes a little while. You have to be patient with it. The glue gun courses a lot quicker. I like this glue because I feel like it holds better. But again, that's, that's your preference. Especially that I'm going to be selling these in my shop. I don't want you to get the crystals and then they're falling apart, you know. <laughs> so you just have to kind of have patience with it as it, you know, the glue dries and holds your magical spiritual tools and elements. And then you probably have to wash your hands because once you get glue on your hands, it becomes stickier and harder to hold. Um, another thing that I recommend is probably uh, putting glue over it or maybe even mosh posh to hold it down. That way it completely seals. And I use non-toxic, regular uh, 
Elmer's glue, clear glue, you get this at your craft store. I know some of you use the tacky glue. I think tacky, tacky glue is supposed to be non-toxic too. So you have an array of different um, glues you could choose from. Put that way there, stains nice and tight. And you don't have to worry about losing crystals because it is gonna be on your door or behind your door. I put mines behind my door so it doesn't touch the door because since I have a lot of people coming in and out, I like it to stay in one spot. Let's see how it starts to move. Alright. And then I show you what else you start to add into your besom. The point of giving your besom is a lot of energy. So that's what you want to do. So, along with all of these goodies, I have mandrake that I'm going to be adding. I probably put it down here towards the end, as that's where the power comes out. The great thing about a broom is that you could use it inwardly and outward, meaning you could use the power to come in and power to go out. This is some mandrake root. Mandrake root is an extremely powerful herb. Um, it's also poisonous. So you have to be careful with it. Uh, keep it away from like pets and you know such like that. Uh, but also there are seers that have used a little bit of mandrake as a psychedelic. So it all depends on your spiritual religions and traditions and so. I think I'm going to ask so add some crystals to this part here and the reason I'm gluing up I will show you because now I'm adding herbs to the energy Cinnamon is great for what? Attraction. And it's going to be a great place to also add some more crystals. you will get dirty. I know I understand why some of you prefer the cool one. It's totally understandable. dries beautifully and you could just so much Gaia energy in here
Yep, here goes one. Because once I dry this, this glue gets really sticky. Um, I can't use gloves because I can't I can't work with them. Yeah, I you know a lot of you use gloves and you recommend them. I can't do it because I have to feel what I'm doing. And uh, so tonight the moon is crescenting and I love it. To me, that's my new moon energy. That's the one I like to connect with and work with. I got my new journal so I could do a lot of new moon intentions because I feel like this is the energy that I love. I know everybody's all about New Year's. I'm always after and before. I'm all about All Hallows Eve and then new moon energies in January. Not so much the 31st. But that's my preference. You go with how you feel with what connects with you. So pretty. So much energy. You get the idea. Because <laughs> I'm just kind of like making a disaster. So yeah, I'll add that. I also have some rose. And Rome signifies love. Love and also pain. Because, I mean, how many of you all know that a heart that is broken holds a lot of pain? So with all that being said, it also um, brings experiences. Because we cannot regret our loves. I'm, for one, in a, I'm a hopeless romantic. So I cherish the energy of love. That's why I love to leave, uh, read romances and especially romances like uh, A History of Witches. I just got the trilogy. Sundance has it. It's on my Amazon, so I'm watching the whole new season. I'm super excited about. Uh, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful, and you could just it emanates such beautiful energy. It's sticking to my fingers. So this is a project that, you know, there's no rush. I'm kind of rushing a little bit because I want you all to kind of like see, you know, how it starts to come out. But take your time with it. Take your time with it. And I want to show you how to program your beautiful vessel. definitely have to wait to dry for you to do really anything with it but then you add some ribbons of course this is not this is not ready <laughs> still glue I recommend that you tie it tight oh beautiful goddess of love I evoke your essence and your energy to bring a lot of love into my home. You bless my home with radiance and the high frequency energy of pure love. Look how pretty. Just to give you an idea, look how gorgeous. Tell me this is not the most beautiful creation. Oh, and, and as I'm holding this, I am just like, I have chills from head to toe because there's so much energy. Now, I do a magic. It's an old witch's magic. It's actually a, a sea witch magic with the tying of knots. So there is very special magic in the energy of knots. And I don't go into it too much detail here because I would have to write like an article or something to share that with you. But if you notice, uh, I do my programming when I tie knots. 
beautiful archangels sandalphon i invoke your essence and your energy to bring a lot of wisdom into my home so that i may see realize witness everything that i have to do and act upon in this beautiful radiant energy of 2021 Definitely going to mosh posh over the crystals once it's done. All right. Let's get, I have some red. Play with the ribbons. You have Michaels, you have John Fabrics, and now you have that you could order anything and everything online. Um, I've seen people order like the tassel type um, pieces of, uh, they're not even ribbons. They're just like just fabric, like tassels of fabric. You could do that too. I'm using energy of red. Beautiful Archangels Jophiel. I invoke your essence and your energy to bring the essence of passion into my home. That I do everything in my creative ventures and my purpose in pure passion. That everything that I connect with comes from passion, love, inspiration, and creativity. Look at this. So I think what I would do for you all, since you get the idea of the ribbons, is I will add a lot of energy already to your besoms. But then I will also send you extra ribbons so you could add your own energy. And you don't even have to get just the ones that I send you. You know, add trinkets, add energy to your besoms. Look at this. Tell me this is not beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm going to close it here for our besom. So now you get the idea of how to make your very own. This one smells like cinnamon. I will use my home sprays to bless it. And you could do this all the time when you want to give energy and radiance. You could also take it off your wall, put it to charge on the sun and the moon energy. Um, I also have allspice and star anise that I will add. So, you know, use the herbs that call your attention. Use the crystals that call your attention. Look how beautiful. So, maybe add some there. Just give that beautiful energy to that. Uh, I, of course, I, of course, I'm going to give one away. So, um, don't forget to share and comment for one of your commenters. I will, I use, uh, random.org. I don't really share the random.org. I just kind of put your name. Sometimes I do. I think the last one I did. And once I choose one, I simply ship it to you. If you're on my Etsy, I have all your information. If I, if not, then I'll let you know, you know, in the next time. Let's see if maybe we'll do the giveaway first week of February. Now, I don't have a lot of these. Uh, I actually bought this because somebody recommended it. These, This is an Asian good luck bracelet. I don't know a lot about this, but I bought some as Christmas gifts. I never thought about putting them in my shop. Turns out two of the people that I gave them to have like this kind of like positive energy. One of them was kind of waiting for... I don't know, some kind of approval and they got it. And the other one um, played the lottery and got a couple hundred dollars. So she's like freaking out. They were freaking out because like they're not used to that. <laughs> so they're like, oh my goodness, thank you for the gift. Of course, when you give something with love, especially things like this. So I think I'm going to do this as part of my moon box for February. So if you go to my Patreon and you are part of my moon box for Patreon, um, I'm going to be giving some away for the box. Not everybody gets one because I don't have a lot, but at least four or five of you, they have my moon box. So far, I think only one person has my moon box, plus somebody else that I do on the aside on my PayPal. But if you are part of my moon box, you get stuff like this every month, different energies, like, for example, this uh, crystal's that might come in like uh, right now I'm working with the Emma Stone of Smoky Quartz 
and uh, this is mine. This is my personal one. I put this next to my bed because I have a lot of visions in as I sleep. So smoky quartz is almost like seeing through the veil when the when you could connect through, especially that I work during the essence and energy at three or four or five o'clock in the morning. So this is the energy that I use when I'm doing my meditations, when I'm doing uh, my powerful energy work, when I'm doing my healings. I use a lot of crystal magic. Now, this is adorable. Um, you know about my organs. So I created these little witch hats of organs so you could keep in your car, you could um, have on you. This is for to get rid of like, you know, cellular frequencies, especially if you work with a lot of computers and now the whole 5G that has a lot of frequency and a lot of you are literally losing your focus and your knowledge and your wisdom. Now, very important. This is an amazing energy. This is Shung, Shung Light. I, I, I might be saying wrong. I'll write it below. I don't have a lot of these. If you want them, just uh, message me. I think they're like $20. But I will list below all of the properties of the Shanghai Light. And this is really, really good, especially if right now with all the confusion and everything that's going on. It also helps with anxiety. Um, it helps with protection, balance, uh, rebalancing, transmutation. It's really, really good. It's like incredible how I came across this. And I think that's it. I think that's all that I have to share. I'm not sure. My main thing is for you all to create one of these. And through each knot, you add the energies that you want, the programmation that you want for your beautiful witch's broom. And you want to hang it behind the door because that's where, you know, people come in and out. So the broom, if you think about what the broom does, it's a cleaner, right? So it's constantly, you know, you use the broom to clean. This is a spiritual cleaning broom. So you could also use it to clean the air, you know, clean yourself, clean your auras. There's so much positive and radiant energy for the magic of the besom. You could also add your, um, like add, add an eye of Horus if you want to be able to uh, see more, have more of that third eye wisdom. It's just kind of like use your spiritual creativity when you're working on little things like this. I am super proud of how this is coming out. I will have, I have I think four or five more. Once I create them, I'm gonna take beautiful pictures and post them in my shop. And then of course, the giveaway will be the first week of February. So thank you for pinning and uh, Google Plusing, sharing your comments. I totally welcome your comments. If you have any questions about this that I might have left out, feel free to comment below. And I always, always reply. Thank you. You have a magical new moon energy of January.